Hey fourth graders, it's Mrs. Seals back for our next science lab. So for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be talking about energy, specifically five different kinds. Um, so today we're going to start out by talking about one type of energy called mechanical energy. So your target says I can differentiate among forms of energy, including mechanical. So in other words, they want you to be able to tell the difference between the five forms of energy. So I'm, today I'm going to be um, showing you what mechanical energy is, giving you some ways to help you remember what it is and what the other forms are, and then be doing a quick little um, you know, demo to show one way that mechanical energy can be used. So to start off with, we need to make sure we understand what energy is. Hopefully you remember from um, first, second, third grade that energy is the ability to cause change or to do work. So in other words, um, all the different forms of energy cause something to change, all right? So a way to help you remember um, the five different forms of energy is by memorizing this acronym MELTS. The word MELTS is gonna help you remember the five forms of energy. We have mechanical energy, electrical energy, light energy, thermal energy, which is another word for heat, and sound energy. So if you remember that word melts, that's going to help you remember the five different types of energy. And I, again, today we're focusing on mechanical energy. So mechanical energy is the energy of motion. And I have mechanical and motion both starting with a red M to help you remember that. That's an easy way to remember mechanical motion. Anything moving or in motion is using mechanical energy. When you jump up and down, you're using mechanical energy. When a car is moving, it's using mechanical energy. When a ball is rolling, it's using mechanical energy. Anything that's in motion or moving. Here's a picture of a guy swinging a golf club, a person nail, um, hammering a nail, and a ball bouncing. All of these things are um, examples of mechanical energy. All right, so today we're going to explore mechanical energy by doing an activity called marshmallow shooters. Okay, so if you are at home, um, unfortunately you will not be able to get to do this activity unless you would like to make a marshmallow shooter, which looks like this. It's a type of catapult. Um, it's pretty easy to make. You can find instructions for making it online if you type in um, marshmallow shooter or marshmallow catapult. Um, but please make sure you have your parents' permission if this is something you choose to do. So if you want to do this, you will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. They're they're kind of popsicle sticks, but they're like the wider and flatter ones. You need nine. You're going to stack seven on top of each other and rubber band them together with one in the back and one in the front. So when you're done, it looks like this. And these bigger, thicker rubber bands are better. And then you, you need a plastic spoon for your top one. Okay, it's, it's pretty simple. You can probably just make it just by looking at mine. But again, um, if you Google marshmallow shooter or marshmallow catapult or easy catapult, you can find instructions to make this or something similar. So the way this works is you take your marshmallow, you put it right there, you pull it back, and then it's going to push the marshmallow forward. So mechanical energy is being used in multiple different ways. When you are pulling the catapult back, mechanical energy is being used. When you release it and the catapult pushes the um, marshmallow forward, mechanical energy is also being used. And then as the marshmallow is flying, in, flying through the air, mechanical energy is being used. Okay, so lots of mechanical energy happening here, lots of motion. So this is an um, a little kind of 
investigation. It's just for fun. Um, the friends that are in class will each get a turn um, with their table group using the marshmallow shooter to push the marshmallow forward. And then they'll be working together to measure how far each one went to see whose marshmallow went the furthest, okay? It's just for fun. It's just to help you remember when you think about mechanical energy that, oh yeah, mechanical energy, that's movement, that's motion. Um, we use the marshmallow shooters. It's just to help you make a connection, okay? So I'm gonna just show you how this works. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, I'm gonna come way, actually, let me scoot my laptop to the edge and kind of point it down. I'm gonna come way back here. I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see this on the video. And the way this works the best is if you get down on the ground, you pull it back, woo, and you shoot it forward. Did you see how far it went? If you couldn't see it, I'll show you. It went to right here. Okay, so then um, my friends at my table group and I would work together with a meter stick to measure to see how far the marshmallow went. Okay, so um, if this is something that you do at home and you make one, I would love to see pictures of it. If you would like to email them to me, my email address is amanda.seals at cleanisd.org. Um, don't forget, after you watch this video, there is a short mechanical energy quiz on Schoology. It's not for a grade. It's not required. It's just for fun. It is just, um, you know, to see what you understood about mechanical energy. So I hope that you enjoyed that, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.